If you've ever dreamed of studying in the United States while enjoying amazing benefits like $28,000 scholarship offered to 90% of all admitted students, waived application fees, waived English test score for native English speakers or those who were taught in English, flexible 12 installment tuition payment options, grant for international students, loans and work study, then you are in the right place. You are about to discover a university in the United States with 90% of acceptance rate and they are committed to empowering and to ease financial burden on international students like you. But before we continue, if you're seeing this beautiful face for the first time, you are welcome. My name is Ami. I'm a content creator and I have a lot of videos on relocation, conferences, studying abroad, visas, everything that has to do with immigration, right? You'll find them on my channel. The link to all my videos will be dropped in the description of this video so you can check it out. Please don't forget to give this video a massive thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend it to others. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on the post notifications so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Please share my videos with your friends and your loved ones and keep watching. Hello guys, you're welcome to Immigrate with Ami. Today we want to speak about a university in the United States. This is a university that has over 200 years of academic excellence we always like to review universities in the united states because they actually offer a lot of benefit for international students on this channel we have shared a lot of testimonies of students international students who have been able to utilize the information we shared to actually get scholarships not long ago we received multiple reports from students who actually watched some videos on this channel and as a result of that they decided to actually apply to some universities in the united states and they offer them scholarship okay so we are also proposing this particular university we'll be talking about today there are a lot of immense benefits you can derive from applying to the school one of such is funding by funding i mean scholarships and other forms of financial aid okay so guys you are welcome to st louis university and we'll be starting with the scholarships and financial aid number so 90 percent of all the you know, st louis university students receive financial aid according to available data the school ranks number 57 in best value schools according to u.s news and world report to give you more information the school spent around 445 million dollars in 2022 for financial aid provided to their students and then the average amount that each student receives in financial aid it's around twenty eight thousand four hundred and eighty eight dollars which is a lot of money in more specific terms if we want to review the types of aid that is available in this school we have scholarships we have grants we have work study and we have student loan that you can apply for so on their financial aid page you can review all of the information available in terms of the different types of aid that the school actually awards to students they have grants okay which are awarded based on need and do not have to be repaid they have scholarship which are awarded based on academic achievement talent service and leadership and also do not have to be repaid and then they have loans which can be borrowed from federal or private sources in the student or parent's name and must be repaid also they have work study which provides an opportunity to work part-time and earn money for education. Aside all this financial aid, the school has also put in place an instrumental plan for students to pay the remainder of their tuition. So if, for example, you have a scholarship or a form of financial aid to cover some part of your tuition, the rest can actually be paid in installment on a monthly basis. And this is a way of trying to ease the financial burden on students, especially international student okay so on their financial aid page 
you will find all information about scholarship, the different types of scholarship, and how you can apply for them. If you want to apply for scholarship, for most of the scholarship, you do not need to actually submit a separate application. Once you apply for admission, they will automatically consider you for all of these scholarships as well. What are the steps that you have to complete if you want to apply to St. Louis University? The first thing is that you would need to complete an online application. The thing you need to know about this online application is that there is no application fee to apply for undergraduate admissions to St. Louis University. So if you are applying for undergraduate programs, there is no application fee applied to you. OK, the only thing is that you just go to their online portal and you can find the link to the online portal right here to submit your application. OK, so that's the first step. The second step is that you would need to send your transcript to the school. So the school would need to have an idea of your educational history and you can show that through the submission of the transcript of all the prior educational programs that you have completed. The third step is that the school requires some form of proof of English language proficiency. Usually you can write a standardized English test okay, and submit the result. But if you're an international student and you have studied in English previously, then you do not need to actually submit the standardized English language proficiency test. After that, there are other items which may be recommended for you to submit as part of your application package. Now, the thing is that these are not actually required for admission purposes, but it can actually give you a competitive edge. OK, for example, submission of a resume, submission of letters of recommendations, all of these are not required for undergraduate applicants. However, if you submit them, this can make your application unique and it can give you more chance of being accepted into the program of your choice. To speak more about the English language proficiency requirement, right? The school accepts, you know, standardized English language test results. Also, for those who have previously completed a college level English class at any accredited college or university in the United States, they do not need to provide any test of English result or students who have had their entire high school curriculum in English. The only thing is that you would need to ask your school to provide some form of documentation like a letter of English language proficiency. I know, for example, that Nigerian schools always provide that to their student if you require it. OK, so as an international student, you do not need to write any English language test for graduate program. The school also has a host of graduate programs that you can apply for. And as an international student, there are also a lot of opportunities that is open to you as a graduate student. OK, so if you want to apply for the graduate programs, you will have to complete the online application. In this case, you would need to pay a non-refundable application fee of sixty five dollars. OK, if you are applying for a graduate program. OK, but for undergraduate programs, you do not need to actually pay any application fee. You will also be required to submit copies of all your university or college transcript. OK for them to be able to evaluate your educational history. And then there are certain times that depending on the program you are interested in, those programs may have some specific requirement that you will also need to provide in order to fulfill the requirement for the admissions. OK, so it depends on the program. So make sure you check the program you are interested in to find out if there are any program specific additional requirement for application. OK, finally, when it comes to the deadlines for application, the truth is that, you know, it's never too late to apply to St. Louis University. When it comes to applying to college, of course, it pays to apply early. Right. Uh, but at St. Louis University, students are encouraged to apply as soon as they are ready for a specific date. They usually open their application on the 1st of August of every year. OK, and when you apply early enough, the school will automatically consider you for many of the scholarships that St. Louis University offers. OK, now before we round up, the school has an FAQ page, OK, where you can find answers to most of the questions that usually bothers 
international student okay for example do i need to submit TOEFL score how do i qualify for an i-20 which is like the immigration document will my ability to pay tuition affect my admission to st louis university so the answer is while slu requires proof of your ability to financially support your attendance it does not impact your admission decision which is actually a good one how do I apply for scholarships and financial aid? Okay, so financial aid is available to international students attending the St. Louis University. You are automatically considered for SLU's merit-based scholarship as part of your application for admission. So that answers that question. There are also other questions that you might be looking for answers for. And on the frequently asked questions page, you would always find those answers as well. Peradventure, your question is not answered. You can always reach out to the International Admissions Office and I'm sure they'll be more than willing to give you all the support that you need. On the academics page, all right, if you go to the academics page, you can find a list of programs that are actually offered in St. Louis University. Okay, so you can check by the colleges, okay, that is like the, the different faculties or the different program areas. For example, College of Art and Science, College of Philosophy and Letters. College for Public Health and Social Justice, Doisy College of Health Science, School of Business, School of Education, School of Law, School of Medicine, School for Professional Studies, School of Social Work, a School of Science and Engineering. And then they also have a campus in Madrid, okay? And this can actually open up an opportunity for you to have like a multi campus education where you can have part of your education in the United States and part of your education in Spain, Madrid, okay? So guys, we are recommending this university because we feel it has a lot of benefit for international students and we would like you to actually visit their website. We'll be dropping the links in the description box for you to be able to access and then try to do your own independent research, gather the requirement and start applying. Don't forget that as an international student, you need a lot of time for you to prepare for studying in a country like United States. So applying early is actually more or less your only option. Okay. So thank you so much, guys. It's always a pleasure speaking with you. If you need some form of support, you need one-on-one -on -one consultation, you can actually request it from the video description as well. If you have received scholarship, you've been admitted, please, you can also share the information with us. We would like to also use that to encourage other people who are waiting for their own good news. So guys, have a lovely time and speak with you soon. Bye.